Okay, hey guys, this is our first Q&A. Um, to start off with, we're just gonna list all the questions that we'll go through today down below. And so if you don't have time to watch the entire video, you can just go to where the timestamp is next to that question and just watch the parts that you're interested in. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first question, uh, what do you guys do for work? Uh, I work as an IT guy uh, for a tech company in the Silicon Valley. And Vanessa is a full-time student at a graduate school. And number two, what do your friends, family, or coworkers think of you moving into the element? Did you tell many people or keep it on the down low? Um, so actually, initially I think, obviously our roommates knew and our neighbors knew because they saw us working on the van and that, um, but our family, when we told them, I think we got kind of a half-half response. Like some people were totally fine with it and others were a little bit worried. Um, they had lots of questions about safety and like, where are we gonna, you know, go to the bathroom and all the questions that you guys asked us too. Um, but other than that, like we haven't really broadcasted it out too much to like everybody, mostly to the people that we know well and, and the friends that we go camping with. So obviously they see our whole house when we go camping with them, so they know. Um, but yeah, we, we don't really talk about it unless, you know, it comes up or, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, so third question. Um, curious about your work situation. I see from your other videos that you have lots of fun adventures. Do you just take a week off of work for vacation every few months or do you have the ability to quit work, have an adventure, and then get a job again? Um, well, let me just explain. Most of the videos on my YouTube channel um, were from when Vanessa and I were traveling full-time. Uh, we were traveling for almost two years. So most of the most of those videos are from that. Uh, but now that we have a full-time job and she's a full-time student, we don't, we definitely don't, you know, just save up money, quit our job, or take a break and, and go, you know, long-term travel anymore. Um, all we do, probably just do weekend adventures and when she have a break from school, then I'll take a week of vacation and we'll go somewhere and do something. But yeah, um, not right now. We, we don't travel long term. And number four, hmm. when people ask where do you live, like say with coworkers or at gathering parties, what do you usually tell them and how do you take, and how do they take the news? Um, okay, so this is kind of dependent on who asks us. I feel like uh, if the person kind of seems like you know, we're not really close with them or they kind of don't really understand the whole camping lifestyle, then I might just be really vague about it and say, oh yeah, we live in the area, where do you live? And then try to deflect that <laughs> question. Um, otherwise, if it is someone that we know well or I know that they're kind of cool with this kind of stuff, then I'm pretty open about talking about it and they usually have good questions about it. And so. with my coworkers, um, only a few of them know uh, that we work closely together. Uh, but other than that, I try to keep it on the download, um, try to keep it as professional as possible. <laughs> um, they were pretty shocked when they, you know, they, when they found out I lived in my car full time. Um, they usually make fun of me saying, you know, <laughs> what Asian IT guy live in a car here in Silicon Valley. But yeah, but now they got used to it and um, yeah, I usually keep it on the download at work. Since I go to school, it's, it's a little more accepted. We're all poor students, so. Um, and number four, right? Uh, oh, no, number, five. number five. So, what do you do about eating and cooking? Um, when it's raining, we usually go out to eat, um, just because we don't want to deal with um, getting wet and whatnot. Uh, cleaning up would be a mess. And when we do cook, it's pretty simple. I mean, you see, from my Ventura video uh, that I could, we could set up a grill in the back, not a grill, but Camping a stove so. in yeah. the back. Um, and usually Vanessa's school or my office have a oven, like a little toaster oven. And we found out we could actually make pretty good meals from those like fish, potatoes, veg vegetables. And, um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I say we, we go out maybe once or twice a week, maybe more on weekends, and during the day, 
we, we usually cook if it's nice out. Mm -hmm. And number six, what do you guys do about condensation? Um, so it has become a little bit more of a problem in the winter because there's a lot more uh, condensation that forms in the morning. So we got these, uh, these damp rid things that apparently absorb moisture out of the air and then it turns it into liquid at the bottom. So we're still kind of using these and seeing how it goes. We just got it a few days ago. So, yeah. so far we, I think, I think we can tell it's been quite working. a bit of difference in the morning. Yeah. So it's yeah. pretty good. Okay, so next question. Um, any chance of adding a solar panel or two on the roof? The answer is no. Uh, there are a few reasons. Um, one is we have a bike rack uh, on our roof. So that would kind of get in the way, um, but not really if we get a flexible solar panel. But second reason is um, we want to try to keep it as stealthy as possible. Um, I mean, if you're going to be 5'10 or taller, when you walk by, you're going to see the roof of our car and you're going to see a solar panel and people are going to wonder. Um, but yeah, we, we just want to keep it as stealthy as possible. Just a lot of times, you know, we go into the city and just so we can park and sleep wherever we want, mm -hmm. just to keep it nice and easy. Um, next question is it easy to boondock in the bay area where do you guys sleep all right so um yeah boondocking in the bay area is pretty pretty easy i mean the weather is good here so you don't have to i mean other than this winter it's been pretty dry for the most part and even when it gets cold it's not too bad um and like we we were already here for two years so we kind of knew where to go and stuff in terms of like getting water, going to the bathroom and things like that. So, um, and then where do we sleep? So typically we kind of sleep um, near my school or near his work, just somewhere in the area so we don't have to commute a lot in the mornings. Um, and then just, you know, wherever we are, if we are camping, then we'll just try to find a place, you know, pull offs and stuff, rest stops are okay. Um, Walmarts are great and like sometimes like big box stores like Lowe's and stuff are good for for sleeping um, in the parking lot too so there's no shortage around here really <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so next question is um, are you considering moving to a bigger vehicle um, no uh, not anymore <laughs> anyway um, I think when maybe three or four months ago um, I was looking at Craigslist pretty much every day trying to uh, see if there are any good deals getting a Sprinter van um, just to you know just so we can cook inside because right now we need to cook we have to find like a pretty quiet place an empty parking lot which could be quite a hassle to do um, but no not anymore we're only going to be here in California for um, another year uh, this is our last year here so um, there's no point plus we really love this car too um, yeah and let's see next question did you guys consider getting that Ursa minor pop-up top for the element uh, we definitely did consider it in the beginning um, and Phil did a bunch of, of research looking at how much it would cost and like I think it, it had to be done down in LA or San Diego and so like San Diego, yeah. yeah we didn't really have the the money or like the time to do that and then in the end we figured if we did have the pop top like we wouldn't be using that in the city anyway it'd only be for camping and we were looking for something more stealthy so like there it didn't really seem to justify the cost for that I think that the the total would have cost us probably around eight thousand dollars just because we don't have a um, sunroof sun in the back, so they would have to cut a hole. So um, yeah, that cost didn't really make sense to us. Yeah. Okay. So next question is, uh, how has it been in the winter? Did you add any insulation? We don't have any insulation in our car. Um, when it's winter right now here, um, and at nighttime it does get down to the thirties. Um, but we've been doing pretty well. I mean, the, it's a small car and we have two people in the car and so it heats up the car pretty well. We also have a down sleeping bags that we bring uh, 
to us to camping a lot. Um, and we have this fleece from Target and it keeps us really, really warm in, at night. Uh, we Maybe when we, before we go to sleep, maybe we leave the car on for and blast up the heat for maybe like a few minutes uh, just to heat up the car. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. it. In the morning, it does get pretty chilly and <laughs> we definitely don't want to get up in the morning. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. You get used to it. And let's see, how long did it take you to build this setup? Um, so initially we built uh, just the frame and the platform and that was just for the weekend trips that we were doing so that itself probably only took like one evening one weekday evening um, but then when we started adding like the shelf and, and the back table and everything like that and did the varnishing and painting that maybe took two full weekends and a couple more weeknights so like maybe total was something like two weeks um, it, it didn't really take too, too long, but our, our setup is relatively simple, so we didn't have to do uh, that I much. I think it took us probably two full weekends. I think we worked on it like... I just said that. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay. Um, <laughs> Next question is, um, uh, what have you been doing during the day when it's raining and you're not working? Uh, when it's raining, um, we usually... Sometimes we hang out with a friend's house or go shopping, go to the mall or hang out at the gym. Um, sometimes you hang out in the car, watch a movie. It's pretty comfortable. <laughs> um, when we're not working, I don't know, same thing, I guess. Phil takes a lot of naps. Yeah, I like to make quick <laughs> naps. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, weekends we usually go away anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. And let's see, where do you shower and use the bathroom? Um, well, public bathrooms are pretty common, like everywhere. Um, it only gets kind of difficult late at night or early in the morning. And then by now we kind of know which stores are open early. Um, plus his work has bathrooms in my school as well. And they have pretty um, long hours in that sense. Um, showers, we just go to the gym. Um, most for the most part and plus his work and my school again also have showers so we have options and like if we do come back say um, on a weekend and it's really late and everything's closed then maybe we'll ask to use a friend's shower and usually people yeah. are pretty chill with that and it's okay yeah um, so next question is uh, I'm trying to convince my wife to do this with me any suggestions Phil <laughs> oh man I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty lucky to find this uh, girl here. Uh, but I don't know. Buy a van and put a bed in it and see what happens. Uh, but yeah. Sounds really raperish. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't have any suggestion for that. Um, anyway, next question. Do you guys have a storage unit? Where do you store all of your stuff? Um, so initially when we moved in, we did look at getting a storage unit, but we actually had a friend who was kind enough to let us store um, some of our stuff in her basement. Um, for the most part, I think Phil's stuff is pretty much all here, like 95% of his stuff is in the car. But for me, I have a lot of my old school books and textbooks and stuff that just don't, don't make sense for us to be like driving around all the time. So I have things like that and some of my like sports equipment. Uh, stored at my friend's house so um it's like for me I think like 65% of my stuff is here and like 35 is at my friend's house but yeah it's it's not too much but we do have an external place to store um so last question is how tall are you guys what is the bed length capability oh. I am 5'7 uh and Vanessa is 5'6 so we're not very tall people. <laughs> Short um, Asians. <laughs> but uh, we can show you um, how much space uh, we have when we lay in the bed. So you can just why don't you just lie? And this is how we usually um, get to the back of the bed too. So 
So our, our platform is actually five foot three. So it's just a tiny bit shorter than what we uh, kind of need, but it's pretty simple matter of just bringing the seat forward a little bit and then Phil can uh, put his feet out straight and that's not really a problem. So yeah, that's all the questions for now. Um, and if you guys have any more questions, again, leave them in the comment section and I will get to them in our next Q&A. And thanks for watching guys. See you guys later. Bye.